Uh, we've arrived at Joel's house, as you can see. It is currently Friday, and uh, that gives us two days to get the car ready, and then zip over to Dunfold and try not to roll. So there it is. My eyes. <laughs> It's a violent pink. <laughs>I actually don't have 32. You're so funny. Know. I don't have 32 teeth. You don't have 32 teeth? Damn. This is, this is really cool conversation, but how many teeth have you done on your gears? I, well, I've done all of them, but I need to do them all again. Nice. So <laughs> proud. He's so proud. How many have you done? Less than 18. Oh, there you go. Six. Nice. I'm going to switch you off. Reject Coalescence's work. <laughs> Hello. Accept nothing. I still have 32 teeth, which is good. You've still got 32 teeth. Yeah, I have Why only 32. Why I have four. How many have you got left four. to do? chill about this. Oh. There is nothing chill about trying to get We're these. currently taking apart something that we put together already because um, we need to put the brake calipers on. Uh, so yeah, everything is going great. So basically not done much today. Um, not done much. <laughs> <laughs> you might have been sitting on your ass. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so today we've just been working on the gears, making sure they're all smooth, um, putting the car back together, putting the roll bar back in, that's just been painted. Here comes a wild Joel, who's done a lot of CAD work today with the throttle assembly. I want to kill myself. Okay, <laughs> that's dark. Um, <laughs> and we've got some wheel fairing, carbon wheel fairings on the go as well. Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. And We're about to do some more carbon fiber. Carbon more carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. fiber. Uh, um, but yeah, uh, tomorrow we're going to be trying to run the car, hopefully. Um, in definitely a private land area. And um, hopefully we can do race up. So yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. to a sunny day too, basically doing all the finishing touches, I say finishing touches as if we're close to being finished but we're yeah. not, um, so car doesn't work at the moment, car doesn't work, uh, steering's not hooked so as you can see we have no front wheels, uh, we have no, no wheels full stop, no we wheels full stop, have, we don't have a drive train at the don't moment, drive train, no, no. don't have wheel covers, electronics isn't in the car, throttle isn't put on the steering wheel, um, I think the only thing that works are the batteries because they're plugged in well, there you go. So that's that's the state of affairs at the start of day two. We will update you through the day. Uh, I'm splitting chains. Yeah, I don't know how to use this. Whilst you're fi filming, I'm trying to unlink a chain. I've just realised that by this time tomorrow, we will have done practice. That's, that will have done practice. Wow, well, it might not. <laughs> yeah, it might not be practice. We have it. Ladies. <laughs> you now need to put an explosion in my hands. Oh, we need to we need to make that video. <laughs> so we, are, we are sorting out a heat issue. <laughs> the uh, twelve more regular. It's getting a little bit a little bit hot. So I'm just gonna stick a little heat sink on to keep it nice and cool and efficient.
I'm taking out the uh, the new four point because Joel didn't like it. My God, Joel! He he pestered me for two weeks to get it, and uh, now he doesn't like it. SMH, my head. Explosion. <laughs> Vlog. I've been tasked with sorting the tools, Joel, so now I'm probably the only one who knows where the which tool is where. So after a long time in the hottest place on planet Earth. Uh, we've <laughs> taken off half of these, this 3D assembly, very jankly, and uh, then pushed out the glued-in horn control, um, and then we're going to replace it with a new wire. There's better connections. Um, so we're putting the wheels in. We've discovered that uh, on the free wheel, the wheel disc is rubbing against the bodywork, so I don't know what Joel is doing with that. I'm going um, to wrangle it until it works. I just don't understand how it's wrong. Yeah, so that's a bit wank. Okay, right. So, welcome to Late Nights. Uh, it's like part four of this. We've got E.T. Han. We've got Lucy being und table. And we've got the entire gang with us, plus incredibly large light, which is bound to attract moths, such as Joel. Hang on a minute. I am not <laughs> a moth. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, we're just about to test the rig, and it's looking very, very interesting in that. Right, okay, right. Just on. hold on to it just in case. On. Now, just give it a second. Uh, we finally got the car running at 10 to, 10 to 11. Welcome to the first race. Uh, we're currently at Dunsfold, as you can see. Um, it's about eight o'clock at the moment, and we've just got the car out of the car, um, and we're just going to get a prep for scrutineering. Um, we did get manage to get everything working in the end last night at about half past ten, and then packed it into the car. But um, we're not really quite sure what's going to do on track. We're not. Don't really have too much expectation. We're waiting for scrutineering. Ben has magically got everything running because he is a wizard. Just for the record, right, we only do all right on race days if we are up at like midnight the night before. Every time we've been sorted out, it's just completely gone, gone badly. So. Green power only works in a perpetual state of chaos. Yeah, name a more iconic duo Green power and sleep deprivation. We're starting practice now. Uh, we're about to start our tyre test. Um, so Joel's just pushing out the car on the Kenders. Uh, it's going to be quite a frantic tyre change. Um, but we have three spoons and one tyre lever, so hopefully we'll be able to get it done decently quickly. So yeah, that's the plan. Hopefully practice goes well. See you at the end. <laughs> We've managed to get Tom Cam working, it looks amazing now. Maybe <laughs> uh, Jason's out of the car. Not good. So basically, we don't know what's gone wrong, but officially this is now our first recovery. First recovery in the space of... 16 races. 16, 16 races. races, about three, four we years. We officially have had a skill issue. Yeah. Hey! Vlog. Uh, so it turned out it was a jump chain, so luckily nothing major. Um, the tyre test went decently successful, Ben and Joel are at the moment uh, trying to get results from it. So I think that yeah, we'll, we'll find out later what was better. At the moment, just beginning to do some race setup, 
Jason was sitting a bit high, so I've chopped off a bit of material off the seat. Uh, hopefully he can sit a, a bit lower. And yeah, just getting on with stuff, I guess. So we're on the track now. We're currently doing a bit of a track walk before the F24 Plus race starts. We're having an inspe inspection. We're at the Hammerhead. The famous Hammerhead. We are at the Hammerhead. We're having a bit of an inspection of the track bumps. It's a bit bumpy around that corner. Um, and we're just advising Jason on some racing lines, I guess. Just talking through some stuff. They found a bit of debris. So I found this battery securing clip. Hopefully uh, there isn't much more debris because I don't really want to get a puncture. So yeah. Hopefully see you at the race start. So we've nailed exactly where the chain must have come off and there are a few like suspect areas to avoid, mainly like some raised bits, some indent bits where Joel can fit his entire foot in a crevice. So I'm just gonna avoid that and hope for the best. I'm so, so um, we head back? Head back now. Yeah, we, uh, we've just had an interesting incident uh, where one of the car's axles has come loose and therefore non-functional. Joel, um, Joel, Jason quickly pulled in near the pit exit. Um, it took broke down at the a right year part to get of it back. In. Yeah, broke down the right part, but not for the right reason. An axle falling off could have been worse. Could have been worse. Anyway, we're back on our track now and going full beans. <laughs> We came first. Welcome to day two. Day two. Race two. Race two. Welcome to race two. Um, and we are currently at the Bristol HQ. Um, just getting things ready for entry. Um, yeah, car car is in more or less one piece, and we're just checking it over for any scratches. Uh, Anton, care to explain what you're doing? Uh, we're just changing over the set of tyres. The Triangs that only really have one race in them before we have to change them. So we're just changing them over for a new set. Other than that, just continuing with race prep, I guess. Yeah. So, welcome to the media production team <laughs> with our laptops out. And uh, me with my data from Don's Hold. Look at you being all smart. Uh, no, not really. Um, so, what are you doing, Lucy? I'm editing the vlog. The vlog that you are watching right now. Mm. Uh, I'm just going through all the photos that I've taken thus far. We're having an ice cream break. Ice cream break. Yeah. Ice cream break. Um, yeah, but in other nice news, break. other than ice cream break, uh, the left brake caliper has been found to have been So after our little incident moved. yesterday, um, the caliper is no longer... It was either the disc was going to be very bent, or the caliper was going to be very bent. It is the latter. The, 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 the caliper is not happy. Uh, so they're going to test drive the car. Um, I'm unsure as to why, but well, I suppose it's, it's all necessary, isn't it? Right? Right? I don't know, I'm just pointing that out. So that is it for, uh, was it, Aintree Day 1? Aintree Day 1? It's Aintree Day 1. Well, um, yeah, they it's actually day one. Okay, fine, I'll leave it there. Cool. But, um, <laughs> so what we've done today is we've done a bit of running of the car on definitely private land um, and just done some acceleration testing, uploaded loads of new code to the car. Uh, we've actually finally fill started filling out the checklist. We've got most of the things on it done, uh, including axles tightened, so hopefully we won't have any more certified Dunsfold moments. Oh, it's too um, Dunsfold. But yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we can uh, tick off these final bids tomorrow. Oh, it's Tuesday morning. We're just doing a little bit of final prep before entry tomorrow. Um, at the moment, we're just testing uh, the seating position. Uh, just trying to get the top shell as low as we can, just that it's as sealed as possible around the sides. And uh, just sorting out everything else that needs to be done. 
uh, we are attaching very, very professional telemetry kit um, that consists of an Arduino that then sends stuff by SPI, this eight cable wire to a uh, an RF chip that is wrapped in duct tape that insulates it from things. Um, and that sends it to another receiver here that gets plugged into my laptop and gets opened via a putty window. Um, then we can read the battery capacity. I'm not doing anything. Uh, I'm just standing around. Get he's back in the kitchen and then like, he's, 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 he's sitting pretty. Yeah, and uh, I'm just here. Yeah, so we've, we've currently got some chicken on the cook. It needs to be turned up. Um, and yeah, so we've got some stuff in the oven ready for tonight. And uh, just, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's the only thing ever, it's